Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be checking out the Game Awards nominees that were officially announced today. Um, and a lot of amazing games came out this year, awesome games. And there's so many uh, great games here for the, uh, the Game Awards nominees. So I thought we'd actually do a video where we uh, go through the nominees and I, I go through each uh, each nominee and each pick and, and select which ones I think is going to win and uh, the, and go through some of the ones that I, I hope win as well and kind of just find that middle ground there. But yeah, uh, I, I'm pretty excited about this um, and yeah, let's get right into this. Alrighty everyone, so here we are, we're going through the, the nominees here. Um, as you can see, this is the website, pretty cool. I'm actually signed in here and let's get, get to it because there's actually a lot of uh, nominees here. So here we go. Uh, and it says here, nominees, the Game Awards airs live and free on Thursday, December 8th at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time, 4.30 p.m. Pacific Time. The show airs across all major di digital, social, and gaming platforms around the world. And uh, what we can do real quick is just view all the categories. We got a lot here, like I said. So let's actually close this out and start voting here. All right. So, wow, we're starting off... Uh, we're starting off very, very strong here. So game of the year. This is a really, really big one. We had some really awesome games this year. Uh, some, a lot of them came out coming out early, earlier in the year, and then uh, just a, a blowout, a blowout at the end of the year with God of War Ragnarok. Um, I'm gonna. It's definitely, uh, definitely. I've played uh, Elden Ring, God of War, Ragnarok, Horizon Forbidden West, and Stray. I'm gonna have to narrow it down to probably Elden Ring and God of War Ragnarok. What I think is going to win is going to be Elden Ring, but I, what I truly want to vote for, um, and the game I'm loving so far, I haven't fully beat it yet, but I think it's going to be my favorite video game of all time. God of War 2018 was my favorite video game of all time, and actually won Game of the Year um, that year, so I, I got to give it to God of War Ragnarok, even though I think Elden Ring will win. Um, yeah, we got uh, Game of the Year down, which is awesome. Let's keep going here. Uh, best game direction award for outstanding creative vision and innovation and game direction and design. Um, so I think Stray was amazing. Horizon Forbidden West was really good. Uh, Elden Ring was great with the game direction. So vision, innovation, and game design. I'm, I think I'm going to have to go with God of War Ragnarok again. I, again, I would probably narrow it down to these three right here. Uh, but let's go with... Um, Let's go with game, uh, God of War Ragnarok because God of War Ragnarok had a, a direction, has a direction, a story, has you know a uh, good character building and all that. But I mean, it could go to Elden Ring too. But we're gonna go with my boy Kratos and Atreus and keep on rolling here. The next category. Wow, God of War Ragnarok, Elden Ring, all of um, best narrative for outstanding storytelling and narrative development in a game. You might not agree with my list, and that's okay. Um, like I said, I'm a little biased here because I love. Uh, this, um, I, I do think uh, it would probably be down to these two. Um, this could kind of win out of nowhere, probably, maybe, but probably not. So I'm going to go God of War Ragnarok again. Um, I think that's the, the best choice there. Uh, best art direction. Ooh, this is a hard one. Scorn was decent. Um, wow, this is a really hard one. Again, I would say God of War Ragnarok, but... Um, I think we're going to go with Elden Ring could win this too easily. I'm going to actually go with Horizon Forbidden West. I thought the the art in that game was absolutely beautiful and the uh, technical and artistical, uh, artistic um, designs and animation were fantastic in that game. So we're going to actually go with Horizon Forbidden West. Uh, next category. Wow, we're seeing a lot of the same games here. Best score in music for Outstanding. Oh, this is such a hard one, man. It's definitely Elden Ring or God of War. I do think Elden Ring is going to win this one, but I love the God of War uh, music. I actually, uh, Bear McCary, I, I, I've listened to his score. It's so, so good. We're going to go. I have to go with God of War Ragnarok with that one. The next category here. Best audio design, recognizing the best in-game audio sound design. This is a really, really hard one. Um, honestly, I might even go with Call of Duty on this one. The footsteps and everything, the guns, sounds so, so incredible. I think Call of Duty is going to win this one. Um, not Elden Ring, not Horizon. It's either one of these strings. I think we're going to go with Call of Duty on this one. Yeah. Next category. Okay, best performance. Or to an individual for over, uh, overacting motion or performance capture. Okay. 
Uh, I mean, this is an easy one for me. I mean, it's going to be down to these two right here. And you could even say uh, Atreus. Oh, that's not even Atreus, I don't think. Uh, it, it could be Atreus, uh, maybe. Um, but it's either her or it's got to be Christopher Judge uh, as Kratos, uh, for sure. Definitely going to go with that. And again, this is a mix of things that I want to vote for personally and that I, I hope win and also what I think is going to win. And I'll kind of clarify that as I go. Games for Impact uh, for a thought-provoking game with a pro-social meaning or message. Um, I, this was kind of a big impact game when it came out. Don't remember that. I don't remember any of these. Um, I'm going to have to go with this one because this is the one I remember the most. And I heard it was a pretty good game. I think it was on Series X and PC when it came out. We'll keep going here. Uh, best ongoing award to the game for a, for outstanding development on an ongoing content that evolves the player experience over time. Um, wow. This is a kind of a hard one. I mean, Oof, this is a really, really hard one. Apex, I mean, you could easily go with Apex, easily go with Destiny 2, definitely Fortnite, even against an Impact. I'm going to go with the Outlier here, and this game kind of blew up this year, was kind of a huge hit, so I'm going to go with, with this, Final Fantasy um, XIV, and we will continue here. Uh, best Indie, uh, Indies, I love Indie games, so this is awesome. Um, I have a feeling I know who's going to win this one. Uh, for outstanding creative technical achievement in a game made outside the traditional publisher system, um, it could be Neon White. It might. It's not going to be Sifu. Um, Stray could definitely win this, and I actually hope Stray wins. But I really do think Cult of the Lamb. This is a huge hit, um, a huge indie hit this year, and I know a lot of people that uh, played it and liked it. So. Um, we will actually continue here. So I'm going to go with Colt the Lamb on this one. All right, best mobile game for the best game playable on a mobile device. Um, for this one, I played some Tower Fantasy. It was pretty good. I heard Marvel Snap's pretty good. I'm going to have to check that out. Genshin Impact. I'm going to have to go with um, go with Apex Legends mobile on this one. I've had a friend that said he's really enjoying it. Enjoyed it, so um, and I'm sure a lot of other people enjoy it. But you could go either way, or either one on this one. Um, but we'll keep going here. Uh, best community support, recognizing a game for outstanding community support, transparency, and representatives, inclusive. Okay, all right. Um, oh, I, I think I have a feeling um, Apex could win, Destiny Two could win. Uh, this could, of course, win Fortnite. I do think No Man's Sky is going to win, and I really, really hope it does because that game had a huge comeback and just provided so much content. So I'm going to go with No Man's Sky here. Um, innovation and accessibility. I think I know which one I want to go with on this one. Uh, recognizing software and or hardware that is pushing the medium forward by adding features, technology, and <coughs> excuse me, content to help games be played and enjoyed by an even wider audience. I think this is an easy one for me. It's going to have to be The Last of Us uh, Part 1, uh, which was that remake. Um, um, well, they, the same game. Um, I didn't play it, but um, I knew the Naughty Dog is known for their accessibility settings. They brought it to a wider audience, especially the, those PlayStation exclusive games. Uh, this could go down to God of War Ragnarok too, because it has a huge variety of accessibility options. Uh, but we're going to go with The Last of Us Part 1 on this one, because The Last of Us Part 2 really, really started that, and they course brought it to part one so we'll keep going here uh best vr slash ar for the best experience playable in a virtual or augmented reality um irrespective of platform i have not played any of these games i heard this is a really great game and i've heard among us is really great um i'm gonna have to i heard this is a great game too i'm gonna have to go with this one moss i've i've heard good things about this um again some of these i might have to guess on um like kind of like that one because i haven't played all these games but yeah, we'll keep going here. Best action game for the best game and action genre focused primarily on combat. I'm surprised God of War isn't here. I'm surprised Elden Ring's in, not in here. They would have easily won. I think they just have too many nominations. That's probably why. Um, Bayonetta 3, I heard, was decent. I'm going to have to go with... I think Call of Duty's going to win this one. Ooh, this is really good, though. I really hope Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder Revenge wins. That was a great game, but we're going to go with Modern Warfare 2. I think that's a kind of an easy one there. Uh, best action adventure game. I think I already know which one I'm going with here. The best action slash adventure game combining combat with traditional and puzzle solving. Uh, this is easily going to win. God of War Ragnarok, no doubt. 
Uh, I could go to Horizon Forbidden West, but I doubt that. Uh, best role playing game, I have a feeling I know which one's going to win this one. Uh, for the best game design, with rich player character customization and progression, including massively multiplayer experiences. Uh, it could go to Xenoblade, it could go to Pokemon, it's going to Elden Ring for sure. Um, and that's like the first one, uh, that Elden Ring got, so, hey, um, a lot of these are narrowing it down to God of War Ragnarok and Elden Ring, um, most of the time I'm going to be going with Elden, uh, God of War Ragnarok, but, hey, I, I like both games a lot, so, um, best fighting, best fighting, uh, for the best game designed primarily around head-to-head -head, head combat. I heard there's a little controversy with Sifu in here. Uh, because it's not an actual fighting game. Um, but hey, it's... I mean, there's still combat and fighting and all that. Um, for this, it's going to have to be um, this one, this one, or this one. Um, it's either going to be DNF, Duel, or Multiverses. I think Multiverses would probably be the one. Um, I really, really enjoyed Multiverses. I still play that today. So we're definitely going with Multiverses here, for sure. And, and uh, we're getting through this. It's awesome. Uh, so I, I know exactly which one I'm picking for this. Uh, best family for the best uh, game appropriate for family plan. Uh, family play, irrespective of genre or platform. I do think... Oh, I didn't see this. Um, it's actually kind of a harder one. Um, this might win. This might win. I do think Nintendo Switch Sports is going to win. I, I think Nintendo Switch Sports is going to win. But I want to vote for LEGO Star Wars, the Skywalker Saga. I absolutely love that game. Haven't fully beaten it yet, but I've been loving it. So it's a, it's a real grind, but uh, real fun. And especially fun probably for a family. But I do think Nintendo Switch Sports is going to win. Um, best Sim Strategy, Dude in the Spice Wars, I heard was really good. Total Warhammer, Victoria 3. I think I'm going to go, and this is always good. I'm going to go with Dune Spice Wars. Haven't played it myself, but I've heard really good things about it. Okay, best sports slash racing game. Uh, for this one, I'm gonna have, ooh, NBA might win. I'm gonna have to go with Gran Turismo 7. I, I thoroughly enjoyed that game. Still playing it today. Still, still getting the cars and everything. So, yeah, I really uh, enjoyed that game. Uh, best multiplayer for outstanding online multiplayer gameplay and design, including co-op, massively multiplayer experiences, respectively. Okay. Um, I think Call of Duty would probably win, but we're gonna go with Overwatch 2 because that was a huge success right when it came out. It still is. So we will continue here. Content of the content creator of the year uh, for a streamer or content creator who has made an important positive impact on the community in 2022. Um, I think Carl Jacobs could easily win. I think Ludwig uh, could uh, win. I don't think they are. I th Ludwig probably will, but um, never heard of this guy, so I don't think I'm going to vote for him. I do think it's going to be Nebelian and QT Cinderella. Um, I'm leaning towards Nebelian, but it could easily be QT Cinderella. She's done so much for the community. She's, she's, she's pretty awesome, uh, what she's, she's done. Uh, but I think I'm gonna go with Nebelian here because rest in peace, well, not rest in peace, but he, uh, Nebelian actually closed his, uh, Twitter account. He was always active with video games around the industry and reporting on new gaming news and everything. And I always uh, used him as a source. He was awesome, but yeah, he, uh, unfortunately left Twitter, um, um, and hey, maybe he'll come back. You never know. But yeah, we're going to go with uh, Nebelian. Uh, best debut indie. Um, I think this is an easy one here. Ooh, actually, this is a little harder one than normal. Uh, we're going to go with Stray or Vampire Survivors. It's down to those two. I'm going to go with Stray on this one. I, I love Stray. Got the platinum. Uh, best adaptation. Recognizing outstanding creative work that faithfully and authentically adapts a video game to another environment. Uh, medium. Mm. Ooh, this is a hard one. This is a hard one. Um, I have a feeling which one I'm going to go with. This It's either of these two, obviously. I still need to watch Edge Runners, and I do need to finish Arcane. I heard they're both amazing. Um, I want I want Cyberpunk Edge Runners to win. I do think Arcane's going to win. I'm going to go with Edge Runners. So I, I'm a, I like Cyberpunk uh, series, the atmosphere. I'm actually really excited to watch this. So I've seen some of this. It's really, really good. One of the best animations of all time, but going with Cyberpunk. Um, most anticipated game. Oh, this is a good one. Recognizing an announced game that has demonstrably illustrated potential. Excuse me, to push the game medium forward. This is a very, very hard one. It could go down to any of these, honestly. 
Uh, probably not Resident Evil 4, but you never know. Um, I'm leaning between Hogwarts Legacy and Hogwarts Legacy, Starfield, and The Legend of Zelda, the uh, the, the Kingdom, um, The Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom. <sighs> this is such a hard one. I think I'm going to have to go with... People may not like this decision, but um, I think Hogwarts Legacy has a lot of potential, um, a lot of anticipation. It's my most actually anticipated game next year, and uh, I'm really excited for it. So um, we're going to go with that. Um, again, you can give it to these two. You can give it to any of these. This is going to be a really close one. I'll continue here. Best esports. Uh, so the best esport game. <coughs> I'm probably going to have to go with Rocket League here. It's probably Valorant League of Legends, but, you know, it, it, this one's really, really close. But, yeah, I'm going to go with uh, Rocket League on this one. Just selected it and pressed it. So, um, <coughs> all of these are, I think, awesome. I'm going to take a little sip of water here. But, yeah, um, I'm loving the categories. I'm loving the variety of games, and we will keep on going here. Uh, best esports player. Uh, so we got a, 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 all of these here. I honestly don't know any of these uh, players except for Faker. So I'm probably going to have to uh, go with uh, Faker here. <clears throat> and then we will keep on going here. Uh, best esports team. Um, uh, probably going to have to go with uh, Face Clan. Keep going here. Best esports coach. Yeah, I'm not, I don't know any of these. <laughs> Don't know any of these people, but um, um, mm -hmm -hmm. Uh, I'll go with this guy on Face Clan. Not sure who he is, but we'll keep going here. Not too f familiar with these characters. Um, League of Legends is probably gonna win. Uh, probably gonna go with either League of Legends or Valorant. Valorant actually could easily take it. I'm going to go with League of Legends on this one. Um, but, yeah. Um, we uh, we voted for all of the categories, which is awesome. So, let's see here if I got some achievements or something. Oh, nice. Achieve voted in all categories. Awesome. And I have got all these things unlocked here, these badges. So, we will actually return to site. Alrighty, everyone, that is going to do it for the 2022 Game Awards nominations. Um, a lot of amazing, uh, awesome games here. And I did select God of War Ragnarok a lot, but I, I really think that game's going to win a lot here. Hey, you never know, it may not. Um, I do think Elden Ring's going to uh, pick up a good amount too. But yeah, very, very awesome. We had a lot of awesome, incredible games come out this year. And it's great to be uh, recognizing them at the Game Awards on December 8th. Um, with with Geoff, of course, as the host, and um, it, what's really exciting is I think we're gonna get some really cool game announcements here at the Game Awards, and and yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna stream the Game Awards myself, but um, I think I'm gonna watch the Game Awards, and if there's any big announcements or trailers, um, then I will definitely uh, be reacting to them after the event. So keep an eye on that on December eighth. And yeah, maybe I'll react to Game of the Year as well when they announce the winner and everything. But yeah, I, I appreciate all the amazing support, everyone. I really enjoy doing this. Uh, this is the first time I've actually made a video like this. I didn't. I forgot to make one last year. I just didn't decide to. Uh, but yeah, I thought this was a great idea, and I, I enjoyed picking them, picking uh, my votes, and I, I thought this is definitely awesome. And I'm really excited for the the Game Awards and all the amazing video games that they're going to be recognizing the games next year. But yeah, please leave a like down below, subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate that. And uh, comment down below of uh, what you think of the game wars. Do you agree with some of my choices on votes? Do you disagree with some of them? You probably do. And, um, and yeah, what do you think of the game wars and these votes? Uh, but yeah, appreciate all the amazing support again, everyone. Have an awesome day.